I'm gonna go in there, you could stand right there, you wanna tap your nail, you could just come in. But this is how I used to do it when I wanted to go tag up my name. Am I actually graffiti name? So that's, that's the name I, I gave myself. Well, not gave myself, I actually took it from my brother. Um, so that's one of the names that I've been riding out with since like 2002, you know, um, early 2003. I was 13 years old and yeah, that's, that's my tag name, Tane, T-A-N-E. And um, yeah. fire extinguishers and put paint inside the fire extinguishers and then they spray Shh. what yeah did yeah. you know that yeah. no nah, i didn't know that yeah. it's crazy did you get that yeah damn some of it i got some of it i didn't think i didn't know that's how you got that done at all yeah, yeah <laughs> that's the way you get it done you know what i mean and then this is another way of getting you know down and dirty the way real graffiti you just come up here real quick i'm sorry quick just write the word. Let's see. Yeah, this is how you really do it. This is how you really go out and bomb. You know what I'm saying? Doing some raw shit in New York. You know what I mean? There you go. Here we out. <laughs> <laughs> Feels so good. Like I'm, I, everything away from me is like tunnel vision. I'm blocked away from society. I'm in my own world right now. I feel, I feel free. I feel like nothing to stop me. I'm with God. That's why I feel like being in this street right here, stuff like that. I don't see no cops. Originally coming from where I'm from, we gotta be having lookouts, having to you know run away and stuff like that. But being here is just, I love it. I said I love New York. I love this part of Brooklyn. It makes me feel right where I'm supposed to be at. And just drawing, letting it all go. Skinny three. Skinny three. I love it. I miss my sister. Rest in pieces. I know you watching, looking down, just laughing like, oh my God, look at my little brother. I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. And after you're done with the spray can, you gotta boof it. That's the graffiti thing. <laughs> Disappeared. But yeah, man, gutsy means fearless, showing determination, being courage, and always be brave out there. You feel me, man? Come on, let's try.
But yeah, man, the way how I came up with the name Gutsy was my little sister um, telling me one night in January, yo, Felix, pull up on me and try to do a graffiti canvas with the word Gutsy on it. So I was like, all right, cool. So I pull up and when I'm asking her, what does the word mean? And she's telling me it means courage, being fearless, um, showing determination. I was like, all right, cool. Little did I know, a couple months later on, I was getting involved uh, with a networking team, a media team called Traffic Art. Did an art piece for them, had a camera in my hands, fell in love with doing behind the scenes shoots and came up with the line Gutsy Films. And I feel like my little sister put that challenge on me to be courage, to be fearless and to show determination. So this is something that I'm very grateful that I was there that night when you know, she told me to come do this art piece because without that and with that particular night happening, there would have never been a gutsy film. So, you know, um, yeah. And I was one of the guys that just grabbed them and said, you know, this is what you live for, you know, let it go, be gutsy about it, be fearless, be have courage. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a great experience to um, be able to go to a listening party and be in involve a lot of artists that are well established a lot of people a lot of producers a lot of executives a lot of djs that were there so experiencing this has been a dream come true coming from the bottom coming up from corona queens from exactly 99th street and 41st avenue seven line exactly um so to be inside these rooms and having a lot of new friends that you know are reaching out that are seeing my determination to like um progress in life is such a great feeling to just um be involved and seeing that I have a talent and people see it and just being in a room that I never thought in a million years I would be in is, is dope like I love every second of it I don't take it for granted um, and I'm willing to work hard and willing to outwork you if that's what it has to take for me to see some comfortability and just see you know my family just in a little better situation and see myself a little bit more happier you know so yeah And just being in that room and just speaking to like either models or just people involved in that networking world, um, it's really a lifetime hustle because there's people out there always creating something new to, you know, niche them a little better financially or something like that. So if you're not in this game to outwork the next person and break night and, you know, I've learned how to video edit through a YouTube video. I lost my job because when I met Bree, um, I was um, just starting to like see that. I was like, wow, there's more to than just working a nine to five. I'm there just picking up trash cans. So when I walked inside that um, editing room, I was like, wow, this is the place for me. I felt like, you know, it, it, I, have, I have to have faith in this. And little did I know, um, I'm working on a art piece while I'm at my job. And little did I know, um, I lost my job because I was doing something that I love. So that's when I picked up the sign and said, yo bro, just go. And ever since then, I just try to bring a lot of value to people, a lot of great quality work, instead of thinking about a dollar price. And yeah, and hopefully my hard work gets somewhere and hopefully it gets me somewhere because I'm really falling in love with the arts of being a videographer and just seeing people behind the scene, how um, they're pursuing their dreams and I'm pursuing mine the same way they are. So, you know, it's all a struggle, it's all in the game, and yeah, man, I'm ready for it, you know, I'm here. Right. Literally, the pit of me. Yeah, like I'm just letting it the go. The pit of me. Like, I just wanted, I wanted to hit me to, to the point that I, I want my sister to hear this, that it could just break me, because I've been trying to let go for, I've been trying to let go for such a long time, I've been bottled in for such a long time, um, because I've never had like an actual like family support, like, I actually would love to see my little sister in that room with me for her to see like wow like me giving my brother this name of an art just an art um an art or piece um look where it took me that one word um, but, and yeah hopefully she comes one day and, and shows support and the same way with my brother and the same way my mom you know they all know i'm doing this for them regardless of what we go through as a family i feel like i'm the chosen one to sacrifice and to just 
be away from them a little bit and deal with what it has to, um, you know, be. Being without them, not going to um, family um, events as Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, New Year's Eve. So I've dealt with a lot of holidays where I was alone, just trying to um, be a better videographer, be a better editor. Um, and it took, it, it took a lot of happy time, happy moments. It broke me at moments because, uh, you know, I was alone, you know, so. Yeah, just getting touchy. But I'm happy that I'm here and I'm able to show this to the world. At least you guys get to know a little bit about me now. Instead of just seeing videos that I'm putting up, I'm human the way you guys are. I'm a regular person like you are. Um, and I, all I do is just get up and work. Because I'm all I have and all I got. Um, I don't have the privilege that I, you know, back then to just reach out to a friend and say, hey, you know, look out for me, send me an invite so I could go to this show and, and just, you know, um, you know, let go a little bit of the pressure of life. But what's life without pressure, you know? And I love it now that I'm involved in this game, seeing a lot of shooters next to me, you know, and I gotta bring my A game every night that I'm there and be very creative and show no fear. Though. Yeah, I'm making, You're it, making happen. it happen. It feels dope just to like really now are. be one of the guys that I'm a familiar face when I'm popping up into these shows. People feel very comfortable now when they start seeing me around. It's been a two years um, journey since I've started, and I'm just happy that I met Bree and she made me feel very comfortable coming inside her room, never pushing me away, never gave me a doubt or a feeling like. Bro, you ain't gonna make it, bro. You know, you coming off just being a maintenance guy, like, fuck out of here, you know what I mean? But I'm just happy that my work showed. Um, I just put my head down and just proved it to myself that I could do it and that I could get this far. And um, I'm just happy to see what's um, on hold for the future and for me. So I hope you guys stick tuned. I hope you guys continue following me, showing some little support. It means a lot to me when you guys are commenting on my page and you know, amazed, and I'm inspiring the, uh, a lot of guys that are coming out from Corona Queens, because yeah, you know, really coming out of there is, is tough. There's a lot of um, hate from people that you grew up with. Um, a lot of people not showing any sort of um, um, love, and not trying to network with you, not trying to see you grow. It, it, it's a lot of more of a competition and trying to see you fail. And that's something that I fight with. And something that I actually got to uh, work with and get myself numb to feel, to like get used to that type of feeling and that sort of um, and be, sort of environment to just continue pushing. That, that that's what's actually helping me grow the hate and the pain. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy to just be involved and just be out here doing this and meeting great people. And you know, a lot of people just letting me know that I've never met in my life. Just fulfilling me with a lot of uh, great knowledge and telling me to keep going, to don't stop. And there's people that I've known for 10, 15 years and just can't tell me something that simple. And they expect you to just come out of the woodwork and say, yo, here you go, come show me love, or do you know, put him on. Nah, man, it don't come like that, man. Shit is not like that, you know? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, kid. You already, man. Miss, can I take one picture here, please? One picture. Thank you. I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
It's all about being courage, showing that. determination, being fearless. You see, um, we can make it happen. Anything, we can make it happen. You got to be um, positive. You got to show them that, you know, you're not here to do any harm. Just the scenery looks dope. And, uh, yeah. No, yeah, I can't wait till you let it all go, put it all the way to your work. Yeah. And, like, I just want to see the comments on people. Because we coming off, you having a creative director visionary here, a celebrity shooter, then you have a dancer, and then you got somebody that's pure, like, yeah. from nothing. Just picked up a spray can to having a camera on his head and just taking off. Right. So, I think you're better than that. All right, um, yeah, I just want to pay my tribute to um, my cousin Jessica. Thank you for opening them doors for me in 2016. Early 2017, I had no direction. I would have never um, been in this position right here if it wasn't for you. If you would have have never um, told me to put, pull up to one of your shows, I'm very grateful for that, um, and I love you. Um, and then after that, I want to thank Tiffany, Natasha, Bree, um, these people that I was meeting through, uh, along the way that was helping me. Um, cannot forget my team, Traffic Art, as well, Jarrell, thank you. Uh, Christina, thank you so much for um, always calling me, um, letting me know that, you know, um, your doors are always open for me to come through and work and create with you guys. Um, I want to thank my boy Stan for, um, right before he passed away, I, 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 I could truly tell myself that I was on your good side, my brother, because you reached out to me on a DM and wanted to create a network because you was coming out with your ambitions line. I'm just happy that, you know, you reached out to me and it, it's sad that you got taken away at an early early time, at an early age. I, uh, you know, I'm in pain, my brother, because you was one of them dudes that would hit me up and we would sneak out of our house when we was feeling stressed to go do a little graffiti and stuff like that and just living through life, living through the emotions and stuff like that. Um, you know, I want to shout out to my sister, my little one, of course, because if it wasn't for you, the challenge of holding this name that you gave me, basically, um, um, I would have never gotten to this specific spot because you showed me that you got to be tough, you got to be brave, and mind you, you're my little sister. And I know it's tough on us because we miss our older sister, but it was a message from God that I had to be there that specific night because you was giving me the name that I had to live up to for us to find some sort of um, 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 happiness in one day in life that I'm, I'll be able to afford a, a trip for all of us and, and, and be able to be together as a family one day. Yeah, you can do it. Okay, you ready?